Well, welcome to my new layout for my ham shack. I wanted to show you all how I arranged this. And so let's uh, do a little quick pan of the room. So you can see how I did this. And I'll kind of describe it to you a little bit. Okay, on the left here, on the right, uh, is my KWM2. And I've got the antenna wire running uh, underneath this desk here over to a switch that you can see there. And here is the computer moved uh, to where I could install the new Flex 3000. And there's the Flex 3000 down there with the power supply underneath. And of course that's also connected to that switch that you see on the side. I'm going to let you hear a little receiving in a minute. But let's continue on. And then this was my old ham shack, but I, I rearranged some of the equipment just to spread it out a little bit more now and you can see uh, there's the amp on top and the speaker and a meter and a signal link for digital modes power supply and then on the bottom you can see a couple of cons computer speakers and the ICOM 7000 with the antenna tuner manual antenna tuner and another smaller computer that I use for uh, digital modes and to check uh, call signs online when I'm using the ICOM 7000. I did manage to get uh, digital modes uh, coming in and going out of the uh, Flex 3000 and right now I'm on uh, single sideband 20 meters. Let me kind of get up here a little close and I'll switch the uh, volume on and let you maybe hear a QSO that's going on right now. Here's one right down over here. Well, here's some DX coming in. And I'm going to kind of move this filter around, see if I can make it sound better. Very neat rig. These filters are all adjustable. So you can basically carve out the signal and if there happens to be uh, noise on the band or a birdie, here's a birdie right over here. That's a birdie. And let me kind of show you how that works. So there's the birdie. So I can just cut that birdie out of there. Just like that so that I can hear the signals. Pretty neat. I've already made a couple of contacts on it. Haven't got it hooked up to the 30L1 amplifier yet. That's my next little project. I already have the equipment to do that. I just hadn't done it yet. I wanted to get the digital modes uh, ready to go with this Flex 3000. I've already put them into memory. And we can come down here and change the display. And then all of a sudden you can see those signals coming in digitally. And I've basically uh, gotten the virtual sound card 
cables to work and the virtual COM ports to work. So I've been able to use uh, FL Digi and DigiPan to decode the signals and transmit. So that's it from the ham shack. I'm real pleased with how it's uh, coming along. Really not mo much more I want to do with it. I guess my next step would be putting in a tower and some kind of Yagi beam or something to improve my uh, reception and transmission. But for right now, I'm real happy with the way it's uh, basically turned out. Been working on it about a year now. Anyway, 73 to all of you. And clear skies. And see y'all on the radio and under the night sky. This is W1XWX. I'm clear. <laughs>